The Heritage Institute for Policy Studies, HIPS, has published ideas to achieve compromise for starting the delayed national elections in Somalia. HIPS recently hosted most election stakeholders at their annual Forum for Ideas in Garraway. Most of their suggestions are based on discussions at the event. The paper is called Averting Electoral Violence in Somalia. As its title indicates, the Institute is suggesting that without compromise, bloodshed is likely. The work suggests that opponents of President Mohamed Farmajo will declare the country leaderless if a vote is not achieved before February 8th. Heritage puts blame for the current standoff at both Formaggio's feet and the opposition. It claims that the federal government rigged elections in Galmadug, Hershebeli, and Southwest State in order to control MPs in those states. Together with Benadir and the Somaliland representatives, Formaggio could have 70% of a new legislature in his corner. The document does give Formaggio credit for agreeing to indirect elections, even lowering the number of electors from 301 to 101 per constituency in the negotiations that led to the September 17th electoral agreement. Formaggio was in favor of universal suffrage. Hips blames Jubilant President Ahmed Madobi for rigging his re-election in 2019. It also suggests that opposition politicians have stayed away from negotiations to delay the balloting. The Institute identifies three areas that need remedies. The first is the makeup of the federal indirect electoral team. Critics say it contains civil servants loyal to the president and members of the National Intelligence and Security Agency, NISA. The second area is the makeup of the government-appointed Somaliland Electoral Committee. The third point of contention is the federal government's control of the Gato region of Jubaland, where it would administer polling. There are also disputes about representation in the Hiran region of Harshabeli. HIPS has solutions for each area. The Institute suggests that federal member states produce a list of people they are unhappy with. They also suggest that the state subtract civil servants from their own appointees to the team. Heritage proposes that Senate Speaker Abdi Hashi Abdullahi and Deputy Prime Minister Mahdi Gouled appoint the Somaliland Electoral Committee. They are the two highest officials from Somaliland in the federal government. The Institute is calling for local reconciliation efforts in Gato and Hiran. They want balloting in those states to be delayed by a few weeks or even a month. And they advise that Amazon forces, not Kenyan or Ethiopian in origin, be deployed to provide security during voting in those areas. Finally, HIPS is calling on the United Nations to mediate the situation, citing the funds that Somalia needs to complete its democratic exercise. Heritage suggests this entire framework comes from the discussion that took place at their Forum for Ideas in Garraway just a few weeks ago. ADN TV will continue to post updates on Somalia's march toward national elections.